Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethem, and today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to solo the Scorpion King boss. This is a world boss, and I'm going to show you how to do it ridiculously easy and solo, and you don't need fancy gear. As a matter of fact, you can start farming this boss at level 17 when you unlock the Palisade. So, if you folks enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and of course for those interested you can always find me on the Seftopia discord links to this of course you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment now obviously this is a world boss so as a result he will have a decent amount of hp you don't need anything specific but you can farm the skeleton keys from him like nuts and you can also get chitin as well the skeleton keys unlock of course boxes that are near to the bosses and will yield decent loot this is the trap that i'm going to use it is a lot smaller than the one with the crocodile and of course this one is narrow as well so that we can get him to tag or hug the palisade walls and do as much damage to him as possible. So on this side there are four palisade walls with the fourth one going slightly in a diagonal and five on this side with the end ending up in a cone shape. So this should allow us to run through it. At the end we have a foundation. It is slightly diagonal compared to the design of the trap and that is because it will act as a cone and you will see later on why now do be careful uh we want to test that you can place down the foundation due to the design of the palisade walls if you do place the foundation too close sometimes you will not be allowed to place the foundation on top the whole idea is to place the foundation on top and to enclose the scorpion in the trap So as you saw before, which I didn't mention, of course, the width is roughly a palisade wall. I have a Scorpion King here. As you can see, this is what he looks like. He is the largest Scorpion King. Now, normally he sits next to where the trap is, where that uh, cliff is in the left corner. But because I have aggro them, he has now gone into wandering which is what they'll do once you aggro him obviously i have my cloak on and so he doesn't see me but this is the one now, obviously this is the largest one very important to note is that his pincers don't take damage so you need to hit his body with that being said and done let's go and find ourselves the scorpion king now obviously because of this i have spawned him in so he's around there. That is because I want to show you guys how to safely kite him. Now, normally he will spawn up here where the chest is also located. But let's say he's wandering. Worst case scenario. I've got his aggro. Now, do bear in mind that you can outrun him. He is not particularly fast. So I have jumped down there. I'm going to keep my eye on him. Also, make sure you clear out the other scorpions because they can complicate the situation. So, I'm going to run towards the trap. Once I get there, I will probably prepare, as you can see, my foundation. Turn towards him. I want to make sure that he's following me in the right direction. Wait for him to come in. Place down the foundation. Run out. And that should sort the problem. He is now entrapped. I can, of course... Shoot now on him. He's not taking damage because of the pincers. That is the problem with this guy. His pincers are in front of him and they don't take damage. So we do need to wiggle him about until his body hits the palisade walls. As that is where he will take damage. Notice. Ooh, there we go. In that hit he did start taking bleed damage. Now I will wait for him. I won't fire anymore until he moves about. It is very possible that this guy will move around. He does do that sometimes. So he doesn't stay focused on us all the time like the giant crocodile. He will move about. And if he does, hopefully he does in this video, you will see why we placed the foundation the way we did. So at this point in time, as you can see, his health is slowly dropping. He is trying to get to me and the palisade walls are of course doing damage to him now the problem with this area is because it is uneven and the palisade walls are wonky to place down 
you do want a small trap you can't really craft a big trap and you don't really need a big trap as you've just seen he fits perfectly in there and once again for those that didn't catch it the first time around the width of the trap is roughly just under one palisade wall Whoa. so he's lost aggro he started moving about he's not taking damage anymore i'm going to try and kite him back into this cone area but because of his pincers obviously he doesn't always take damage there are ways around i can just run around the trap until he gets himself stuck again or we can go to the foundation I'm just watching what he's doing. He is damaging himself trying to get to me, but it is not consistent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb this foundation. Whoops. Okay. Get his attention once more. So at the top of this foundation, he should not be able to hit me. He is taking damage. He is taking reduced damage, though, because he's not continuously in the palisades uh he is only hitting the palisades when he's trying to hit me so he will take damage slower obviously i can wait it out here or i can try and squeeze him into the cone area notice that the where i place down the foundation allows for a secondary cone which is at the entrance of the trap and I'm going to show you guys in a couple of seconds once you guys get to see how slow his health is going down. So notice he's not going down that quick. But I'll show you what you can do to try and get him stuck. If he does not do that, you can just wait it out here at the top. He doesn't seem to do damage to the foundations, which is really weird. Or if he does, there will not be a decent amount of damage. If he does break it, oh, obviously, always be careful with the base foundation. You want to make sure that its health is as good as can be. You can, of course, kite it back to the other end if you want. But it's the pincers that cause the problem. So I'm going to move slightly to this direction. And now he should take damage a lot quicker. Obviously, he's only got one palisade wall hitting him, not two this time around, but I'm not sure what whether that makes a difference or not. But we'll just wait it out. He is taking damage, and slowly and soon he will die. Both the foundations and the palisade walls can be unlocked at level 17 and also watch the xp bar which is the white bar above the red bar in the upper left corner so that is a decent amount of xp do bear in mind i am of a decently high level as well so if you're going to start farming this guy at level 17 this is a good thing to farm for that added xp as you saw there it is not that difficult when you harvest him with a pick you will get the icker the chitin and of course the skeleton key now obviously i can't use the skeleton key because i am still too low level for the box that this boss has the good thing about this trap is you don't have to destroy it you can just leave it here and come back and farm him over and over and over again but as you can see i've got a decent amount of skeleton keys which I will use at a later time. So just to show you exactly what I got. I did throw a lot of the meat away. As I don't need it. So as you can see I've got a decent amount of skeleton keys from this. And the box is right to my right on the top of that hill. That is it for this video folks. That is how you farm this guy. He is ridiculously easy. A lot easier than the crocodile boss. And of course, this is only one of the world bosses. I will, of course, also be looking at all of the world bosses and looking for ways to make it so that people can farm them as easy as can be. That is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them 
Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment. Until next time, stay safe, folks.